we've had iPhones for years and internet access on our phones, but in some areas that's just becoming affordable because of the coverage that's available and just the, the cost of, of cell phones and, and whatnot. So th there's just this wave of people that are being exposed to new content that they wouldn't have been able to necessarily experience because they did not they don't have time to sit in front of a computer while they're on their like you know lunch break or whatever so there's just going to be this i what i'm hoping is this new wave of of uh makers that are hopefully going to be hungry to make things and i hope that i can so my content can inspire people to take that leap uh like one of the things that i feel like for some of my audience, um, it, it might alienate them in, in a way from the building process because you know I'm using when I before I had access to some of these tools I'd watch a video and someone would say oh like I took this remote control car and turned it into this like crossbow thing where you put the you know bolt through I'm like oh cool how do I do that oh well you have to three D print this part and it was like my heart heart sunk because I was so excited to get started on it, but I didn't have that one 3D printer. So, you know, a lot of these builds that I've done, I'm trying to really appeal to a different audience, which is if I'm gonna look for an employer, I wanna put this in a digital portfolio, what's gonna look impressive, that I know how to use a 3D printer or that I, you know, hacked some some toy. But if you're just trying to, to kind of get your bearings and learn stuff, that's where I think I started.